Hi everyone, so today we're gonna create an iOS app that connects to a non viv camera to be able to see the live stream from the camera. So I enter the IP address, login password of the camera, it connects, then we're getting the profile, the stream URL, also the information about the camera, the manufacturer's model, then we can play the live stream. And here it is. So, how do we do that? First, we can create a new project on Xcode. Create a new project. Single view app will be sufficient. We can call it stream test, for instance. And then we can in the terminal so we're gonna create a pod file then in the pod file we can say we're gonna use the but on this camera run pod install yeah we need to close this open the workspace so now let's connect to the camera and get some information we can import the pod here we can instantiate the camera we need to pass an IP address and the credential which are login and password In order to retrieve information about the camera, we need before get the service. Get services will call the camera and retrieve all the different routes and paths for all the web services that are available from this camera. So it's really important to call in before any other web service in order to have the right path. If you're calling a different web service, creating your own method that's gonna call a web service that is not shown in this tutorial, you need to override this method and pass the pass. So now, once get service returns, we can get the information. Here we have the camera, we can log We can log the model, for instance, and the manufacturer. Let's try to run it. Okay, so this is print by the framework. So we have all the information that we retrieved. And here we, we have all logs that are the model of the camera and the manufacturer. Now we are able to connect to the camera, getting his information thanks to his IP address, login and password. So now we need to retrieve the profile to be able to get the stream URI. So again, on get service reply that we know that we have the correct path for getting the pro camera profile. So let's call it here. It will return an array of profile, which basically contain a name and a token. We can log them.
Okay, so here are our profile. So we can see that we have the token, we have the attribute in the name. So now we need to call get streamer, right? So let's call it with, for instance, the first profile token. And we can log the URI. Here is URI. As you can see, it's not an HTTP URI, it's an RTSP, which means real time streaming protocol. The only problem is every player and every foundation does not allow us to play RTSP URI, so we need to take another component, a video player, that can play the RTSP URI. Fortunately, VLC does it, so we're gonna add it to our profile. Okay, so once we have the pod mobile VLC kit, we can instantiate the VLC player and then play the RTSP stream from it. So this is how we're gonna do it. We need an instance of media player, VLC media player, we can put it here. And then we have a method called play URI. like that. We need to have a view that we can call movie view. So let's add it in a storyboard. Here it is. And we can create the view in the view controller. Here it is. So now we can see that the project doesn't compact because we didn't import VLC media player. We can't import it like we import on Vive Camera because it's made of Objective C and C classes. So we need to create a bridge header. That's calling stream test bridging header. We can we need to reference this in our project setting. So it will be like that. Stream test. It's also contains a folder stream test. And here we can import mobile VLC kit. We need to add self here. Here the project is not linking. We have 78 error of link, which are mostly C error from VLC that symbol had not found. To solve this as a quick hack, it's just to add 
um, the objective C plus plus file. So just create an object and can name it for VLC link. Rename it to dot mm, which is the extension for Objective C++. Now, if you build the project, you can see that there is no more link error. So let's see if it plays the live stream. Okay, LTSP work with authentication, so we can just add the login and the password. And it's working, we've got the live stream. <laughs> 